Just came from up there. The trail goes down this way. As you can see, goes down there, goes all along this ridge, all the way out, all the way down. You can kind of see the trail there, all the way down into that canyon, which is about a thousand foot, thousand feet down. I'm just gonna keep on trucking here. And... Okay. Not a cloud in the sky, about 75 degrees. You gotta love it. Well, as you hike down, you come across kind of weird things like this. I'm not sure what that is, so I'll just come take a look at it. It's kind of a little clearing area here trail runs right there and then there's just kind of this cleared area and then this now, I am not sure what exactly that is looks like kind of a little shed area or something and there's a little fire pit next to it I mean it's not that big I don't know he could sit in it. It's really spectacular. Just look how it was built. Someone must have just must have taken years to build this thing. This is just a feat of unimaginable uh, craftsmanship, and I just can't believe it. Unbelievable. I mean, look at this. He could live in it. Maybe it's shelter for the rain or something. Who knows? We'll keep trucking. Oh, there's the canyon. We're getting close. Drops down into that ravine and that's where our water is. I'd say, got about 15 more minutes to go. I've been hiking for about an hour. Almost there and no doubt a bunch of garbage. Freaking people, man. Can't believe this. Leave their shit everywhere else for other people to pick up. Typical. Typical human behavior right there. Good news is, is we're at our descent down into the Garden of Eden. I call this little Hawaii. And so it begins. Fossil Springs. This is the uh, first bit of water you see. It's running on all this red sandstone. Right there, the water you're seeing is about uh, a foot deep. A foot to three feet deep, you could just lay there all day. It comes down through here, forms these cool little rivers. That's a total water slide right there. You could slide right in there. And it just forms these deep pools. These are 10 feet deep up here. This is just the very beginning. This is an Arizona beach right here. Hidden secret. Just can't beat it. Look at that. You can just lay out in that water. This is my favorite part coming up. All this desert red rock gives way to this beautiful riparian green lush. I call it the Arizona rainforest. We're making our way towards it. The desert slowly being left behind. Just gotta hop these rocks. Keep on trucking. Just follow the water. All those frogs. Soon to be frogs. Little tadpoles now, hundreds of them. Look at these guys, they're getting big, and they're everywhere, so cool, look at that guy, he's a big one. So yeah, if you want to swim at the tadpoles, this is the area to do it in, 
You got little waterfalls. And I believe all that is more runoff. The actual fossil spring starts up here. You've got to hop all these boulders. And um, during the monsoons and during the snow melt, all this is underwater. This is just a big, huge river. All these little little ponds you can chill out in. Only bad part about this is there's rattlesnakes under all these rocks, so it's kind of disconcerting. And it's the desert is giving way. Look at all this green. Just slowly being engulfed by huge oak trees. There's no no pine trees down here. It's just unbelievable. Vines. It's just beautiful. Unfortunately, I hear kids up here, which always ruins everything. They're rather loud, obnoxious. I'm just kidding. Kids are alright. Whoa. Alright, here we go. Keep trucking through here. The desert is gone. Now entering paradise. The temperature just dropped about 25 degrees, it feels like. All actuality, I'm guessing it dropped about 10 degrees. I mean, look at this. It's just beautiful. Unbelievable. I'll check back in with you in a second. Well, as you can see, the trail is just grass on either sides. It's just so green. Look at the color of this water. Look at that. Crystal clear green water. Waterfalls. This is just the beginning. Here's some kids enjoying the water. No man-made bridges around here. There's a big old fallen oak outstretched uh, right over the river. It's pretty cool. Here, I'll show you what's out there. All of this There's uh, those springs are just shooting through all, these are all blackberries, millions of them, blackberry bushes. And all you can do is hear the water shooting underneath them. There's the river. The one of the, I mean, you could see, if this was 100 feet deep, you could see through it. I mean, right here, that's, uh, that's 10. That's 10 feet deep, at least. It's just crystal clear. Unbelievable. Right here's a good little diving rock, and um, down in here, it's great snorkeling. Up through there, it's about 10, 15 feet deep. Looks like it's loaded with little fish, too. So I've hiked about an hour and a half in the bottom of the canyon, and I can hear a waterfall. Sounds like it's coming from that way. What do you say we check it out? See what we can find. Let's keep walking. Oh, the goalie. I think we found a waterfall.
That's about 40 feet, 40 foot waterfall. Right down here, that's a cave full of water. If you get in the water over here, you can swim underneath the rock and pop up inside there. It's pretty cool. Best snorkeling I've ever done. See here to that beautiful river. Now of course I have jumped off of this. Right down in the middle. I did a backflip. It's a little chilly now, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I have done it, I promise, I've done it. You make a wrong move right here, you're done, you're dead. The only way down was climbing down that rope. right there, you can get totally behind it. Rope swing. There's another cave right there. Woo! Oh yeah. Feels great. fun. That was a good time. That water is unbelievably just a perfect temperature. Good stuff.